Hi, I'm Dallas Dickinson, Director of Production on Star Wars The Old Republic, the new story-driven MMO from BioWare and LucasArts. Today I'll be guiding you through the opening minutes of the Eternity Vault, a high-level multi-party operation involving an ancient prison that's been uncovered on the remote world of Belsavis. Inside this prison, a terrible evil has broken free that now threatens both the Republic and the Empire. At level 50 in the game, whichever side you're on, you'll be dispatched to deal with this threat. Today, we'll be watching the first part of the experience from the Imperial perspective, beginning with the conversation with General Threnault. My lord, forgive the lack of protocol, but war has broken the chain of command and my purpose is grave. I am General Threnault, commanding officer of the Imperial Reclamation Service. I understand you're familiar with us. You run archaeological expeditions to uncover Sith and alien artifacts. And deal with the threats they represent. We uncovered a new section of Belsavis prison during a bombing run. It's been sealed for 20,000 years. The Rikata called it the Eternity Vault. It's where they kept the prisoners and technology they could never afford to release. This doesn't sound promising. We've been translating the Rakata inscriptions. Most are indecipherable, but a few refer to a prisoner called the Infernal One. It took an army to stop the Infernal One before. If we don't do anything, well, the war against the Republic may be nothing next to what'll come. The weapons in that vault could give us an advantage over the Republic. That will be up to you. General Threnold has briefed our group on the situation, and our heroes know what they have to do. Within the service atmosphere, proceeding to surface. All hands prepare for enemy fire. The Eternity Vault defenses are active. Coming into Belsavis's atmosphere, the Imperial ship has come under fire from the prison turrets and is going down. The players must get to the escape pods. Each player takes his or her own pod to land at different points on the planet's surface. Weather conditions are extreme on this part of Belsavis. Players have to run through the snowstorm to gather up around a burning escape pod. Enter my domain. Children are knowing they will serve. That voice belongs to the Infernal One. He knows our heroes have come for him, and he has prepared his prison fortress to repel their attack. Our players wisely take a moment to activate any abilities that can give the group defensive and offensive bonuses. They're going to need them. So as the battle begins, you can see the Sith Juggernaut. He's the primary tank for the group, and he's rushing ahead to draw fire from the turrets and the enemy droids. The Sith Assassin is the group's second tank, and he's getting in there also, drawing one of the Eternal Sentinel droids to him with his Force Pull ability. The Sith Assassin has more than just his lightsaber. He also uses lightning attacks and his Wither ability. The other members of the group are focusing their attention on the left side turret. These turrets pack quite a punch, so they need to be taken out quickly. Switching to the Sith Sorcerer, we can see that he's come under attack by some of the droids. Fortunately, the Juggernaut blasts by and gets the droids' attention. The Sorcerer gets some healing now from the Agent, who is one of the medics for the group. And now the Sorcerer can fire off some shock blasts and a lightning attack at the turret. The turret has focused its sights on the Mercenary. That white ray means a powerful area of effect attack is coming, so it's good the mercenary is off to the side. The mercenary fires off a few heat seeker missiles, and you can see on the bar that the group is burning down the turret's strength. The majority of the group is now focused on taking out the remaining droids, while off in the distance, the Sith Marauder works on weakening that second turret. Here we see the power tech use his retractable blade on one of the droids, but even as one falls, more are coming in. You can see the sorcerer here unleashing Force Storm, a wide area of effect attack to damage as many droids as possible. All right, the last of the droids is down. Now they've just got to deal with that second turret. And with one last barrage of missiles, that's down too. My finest creation, machine of machines, metal enemies. 
Before they enter the Eternity Vault, the Infernal One has another surprise for the group. This is going to be a harder fight. The Sith Juggernaut force charges in to kick things off. We switch perspectives to the Operative, who's already firing off some heaters. Note that he's got larger icons to show group members' health, front and center. A nice UI option for medics. So far, so good. The Juggernaut and Assassin are keeping the droid's attention while the others lay down damage from range. The Annihilation droid has laid down a sweep there to blast back the group members who were standing too close. Now here's where it gets complicated. When the droid starts firing off those swarms of missiles, that's deadly. Fortunately, the group knows this, and you can see them taking cover behind the destroyed turret. So most of the group is hiding, but the Juggernaut and Assassin are actually able to withstand this kind of firepower, so they're just charging right back in. As soon as the missile barrage is over, the rest of the group emerges to continue the fight as well. We switch to the Sith Sorcerer, who keeps his distance and keeps a steady flow of lightning streaming out to weaken the droid. The player slides into first-person view to get a better perspective on the battle. Oh, looks like the Sorcerer got a little too close and got knocked back by that sweeping arm. Now the droid is beginning another bombardment with his rockets. This time the group doesn't hide, however, and instead collapses in and keeps fighting. It's critical here that the healers use area of effect heals on the entire group. Even so, that's a lot of damage very quickly and the Marauder goes down. Luckily, the second sorcerer, skilled in healing, has reanimation, which revives downed group members even in the midst of battle. red targeting reticle over our sorcerer indicates that he's been targeted for a heavy missile attack. This attack will slam not only him, but anyone standing nearby, so he smartly moves away from the rest of the group to take the hit. Ouch! Another swing from the Annihilation Droid's cannon sends the Juggernaut flying. He won't stay down long, though. Running back, he uses Force Charge to leap into the fray. Our heroes maintain their blistering assault, chipping away at the droid's health. And here, the droid is launching another missile barrage, but his health is low, so the group just converges on him. They're gonna go for it. Oh, the droid's attacks are just too much. They're dropping. One, two, three, even four of the group members go down. But it's not over. They're so close, and there you go. One final attack from the power tech, and the annihilation droid has gone down. So that was just a small part of the larger Eternity Vault operation. We hope it's given you a good feel for what playing through the operation will be like for you and your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you now with a sneak peek at what the Infernal One has in store for players inside the Eternity Vault.